Hello, looks very nice out there. The Moscow crowd has been popping off today. On the other stream, we could hear them through the walls, vibrating the whole place. Navi maybe looking for a fast round here on the pistol, maybe towards the ramp. Absolutely, but there's a setup here for Force. Jerry now, ooh, not bad, but looks like the push is working out for Navi. Down they'll go. Almeza was one to watch yesterday. He had a ridiculous... I think, I think he finished in photo against Entz with 150 ADR or something like that. So is definitely one to watch out for. Zeus, he's got that D. He's got that D on the pistol. Respect, I respect. Now we've got Almeza poking and prodding, but really this is too difficult. Zeus is just holding off exit power by himself at this point. Now there's some assistance coming in. is doing some work, but finally he'll get traded. This really looks rather difficult for exit power and running out of time as well. There's no kit. And here comes Na'Vi to finish him off. And they will pick up the pistol. So he's enjoying this. Having a good time. Pissed around is with Na'Vi on the T side. Good momentum, great way to start. Forza are a very dangerous team. And indeed, when, when it did, when uh, Blast did announce that Forza and Avangar will be both playing in the absence of Vitality, I did expect some upsets from Force, although I'm sure the crowd won't be looking for an upset in this particular game. The Mac 10 is out for Zeus. He's got the. Um, I was going to say he's got the forward spawn, but it's flamey. Looked to be potentially throwing a HE towards Squeaky, but it looks like it was discussed and they thought better of it. Jerry looking for an upset, taking Boomich out of the Desert Eagle. Oh, that's not a line of engagement you want to take. He spots the legs as well. Just not a good idea. When you're nearer to the closer, when you're nearer to the smoke and there's a gap in the corner, you are the one likely to more likely to be punished. Simple trying to even up the numbers now, but there's still more, more work to be done. Exit power tagging on the outside, and this could be a catastrophe for Na'Vi. Yeah, I think experience-wise, I'm struggling to understand why Jerry went for a third peak with that Deagle. But still, it is difficult for Na'Vi with the damage that he did. But you can see that they have used that kill to gain some position here, and now they're starting to recover. Simple weak, Zeus weak. That is a problem, but you do still have the better weaponry. Just need to find their way forward. And there's a the smoke dissipating. And Almeza takes full advantage. Finds that oh next one. God. The drive-by is ridiculous. Looks for the next shot with that Deagle. He's trying to line it up. The pre-fire is there. Does he go for the peak, though? Waiting for a teammate to engage. Out comes the spam. Not quite as precise as before. But it looks like it should be able to do the job here. Zeus is out there against three players. They're just teasing him. And finally, the headshot will come in. Fours with quite a devastating round. Jerry loving life. Great start in that round from him. But again, if you're closer to a smoke and you're trying to peer through a gap, if someone's further away doing the same thing, they are more likely to see you than you them in, a in many cases. And versus a Desert Eagle, that's not really what you want, as Jerry can attest to for Na'Vi. Their voice is silenced by his Desert Eagle. One to one, not the result we were expecting early, but now it's Na'Vi with the Butcher Bite. Five Desert Eagles looking for meat shots. Simple's got a smoke. Maybe it goes towards main. Maybe it goes somewhere else. Some nice HEs outside. And that will be followed up upon by XE Power. Damn. Looking good with the scout. So satisfying to use it with that running speed. Trying to finish off Zeus on the outside. He will eventually do that. Only Jerry's been lost in this round. That is quite the turnaround from Fours. Yeah, just really smashing that force by of Na'Vi. Not having any of it. So that's that's the way, that's the way to start the CT side. Lose pistol, win the force buy, defend against the force buy, and then now it is or should be smooth sailing for them. The exit power will upgrade to the AWP. It's a Krieg on flits. Really nice to have that Krieg. And now Mace is on an AK-47. So again, this if Force don't lose any players here and get to build some bank in this round, that really could not be a more ideal start for a CT side of Nuke. Sure, you can see the round to get there, but it is worth it. Oftentimes. Deagles now for Na'Vi. They need to deliver some kills. They really do. Simple creeping, looking for some headshots of his own. Exi Power's creeping as well, but this is actually a dangerous position unless he's got cover for the cross. He could be swarmed upon. He could drop a AWP to Na'Vi. And that would not be ideal, but he's not afraid. He's not shy. And he will use the Molotov to hold position. XC Power's looking so sharp at the moment. Delivering frag after frag, be it with a scout, be it with an AWP. He's, he's, this, this, this is early on a CT side, and it's a great indication to have your sniper just wrecking house 
not really missing any shots at the moment. Yeah, I feel like Force going through the miners and everything, like, you know, really performing better and better recently. At the miners, I saw a lot of shakiness in terms of, you know, the aim and everything. Obviously, there was a lot, a lot of nerves present, but I feel like the experience that they've been able to gain through that last major cycle was really beneficial to them. And it's, it's good to see the confidence that they have now, today, here at Blast Pro Series Moscow. But, of course, the buy comes in for Na'Vi, so we'll be interested to see if we find anything for Na'Vi here. His simple will be stuck on a Deagle, unfortunately. Sacrifices were made. Olivia, fast one into the A bomb site. There's no HE, looking for a player rotating into the main position, but nothing doing just yet. Phase crack with a well-placed smoke into the late stage of the Molotov. Any push through there would surely be suicide. And that may slow things down. You can see there is a T by T red, and Jerry may go to investigate. So we'll see if Electronic can get anything done. In the meantime, Phase Crack's going to be picked off. I'm not sure if that was a hot push. I think it was. Looks like it from the radar. We'll see how the Jerry Electronic situation continues outside. Minute 10 on the clock. There's some Navi chance there in the crowd, the support there for them. Bash to the CIS, Flamey taking down Almeza. That's a good opening. And Jerry's force forward, he's going for the engagement. That's the big play. Takes down Electronic, and so now they know that that smoke wasn't really going to be doing all that much, just serving as a distraction of fake. To slow things down, exit power, can't really afford to miss that one. But Flitz coming in the back here. Bash is the catch, Zeus, the bomb goes down, but things are looking a bit constricted here for Na'Vi as they fall back towards CT Vent and T Vent. That's really all they have, though, in terms of positioning. On that, Molotov should do the job there. Indeed it will. This is not looking too bad, but they have to hit the shots. Exit power, he's missed a few too many in this round. Yeah, this has turned around. There seems to be some chance. Exit power now, one versus two. I'm not sure if he's committed to this. Maybe if he had found Simple there, he might have been, but now it's a safe situation, and Simple's creeping, Simple's hungry. He wants to say WP, but can he fake the shot? He can, but can't escape it. Boomich with the final frag, and that will do. Second round on the board for Na'Vi. <laughs> Plenty of support for both squad. Had some Forza chance there as well. Know your smokes. There's a gap in there, which Flamey's able to punish. That opened things up on the A-bomb side. So, here we go. Two to three or three to two, depending on who you're a fan of, I suppose. Last chance to force to hold on to their economy. Hold on to the big guns. Let me force back there by the incendiary. There's a smoke to extinguish the flames. Making life a bit difficult, but Navi will push forward nonetheless. Face crack taken down from behind. Almeza has a lot of work to do. Finds two 1v1s and he nails it. Dropping down, changing elevation. Jerry comes out. What on earth is happening? Yeah, decimation on the A bomb site, but there's still a chance with the lowly UMP. That's been taken away by Jerry. There was a Molotov for one of the smokes outside. Jerry had the gap. He knew nobody was rotating towards secret. That allowed them to concentrate more on the A bomb site, though. They weren't really able to get into positions before, before the push came in, but they held regardless. And that puts fours on four. A must win round was one, and it's Navi. He will be in eco territory. It feels really surprising there that Force were able to recover that and that Almeza gets two 1v1s that nobody was looking towards heaven still. And and they hadn't kept it. All they'd done at that point had killed the player on top of the hut. So there can still likely be a player towards that position, but no one was looking at it. And here we go. More confidence for Force, I'm sure. Jerry's playing very well so far. That The 2k he just got was pretty outrageous. Nicely done by Electronic, though. All serve. A headshot to Jerry. Almeza looking to deal some damage, though, from above. The elevation is always nice. It seems like these Deagles will fall a little bit flat this round. One kill's not bad. Can be much make it any better. Here's a step. He might get the drop onto face crack. This could be a second kill in the making. They really need it. Oh, he's going to let him rotate away. The bomb is far behind him. Okay. Just wait a little while and take him out anyway. Not ready for Exit Power's angle though, and it fours will make it to five. Three players surviving, could have been worse. Not the worst thing in the world, you can hit a fours uh, chances. So in the West we say fours, but as you can see the locals will say fours. 
Na'Vi on the bye once again. Three rounds behind at present. Electronic and Zeus with forward spawns. We haven't seen any fast rushes into the A-bomb site yet. We've seen some teases of a HE towards the squeaky door, but they haven't really committed to it. Have opened it sometimes to try and catch a player getting into position, but nothing doing in that regard. XC Power makes his way down towards the secret position once again with the AWP. And this time there are more players outside, so he might, he might find himself some action. Power. He's been pretty dangerous from this position. Looking for Na'Vi, but Na'Vi has slowed things down a little bit as well. Going back for the outside smokes. Layering the courtyard with smokes. Jerry's got mollies, but it would concede his position. And surely this is not going to be expected. See all the T's outside. Now, is this a one and done spot? And is one enough? You can see there is a focus from the T's to go outside. So Jerry's got to find two, surely. He's got the right angle. He's not going to execute straight away. He could find three. They're lining up for him. Oh my God, how is it going to be Jerry? Just a two. The bomb's outside for now, but it will be collected. Actually, power in a pretty strong position. The smoke's being down as, the, as they are will make things difficult for Na'Vi to try to punish. And there's so much time that's been killed. Exi power with a close shot. That's important. And now there doesn't really seem to be much that Na'Vi can do. 30 seconds. They've got to find their way onto a bomb plant. And the bomb is just down in the, in the outside position. Flamey can't run, it, run to it and get it down in time. All the CTs have to do is just slow him down. They know exactly where he is. And Crace Crack wins the day. Jerry with a nice double. Could have been more, you never know. I like that he took Could the time to line it up. Four. Yeah, he took the time to line it up. That was absurd. This is this is perfect. I mean, he, he really did. Like, I don't think he can really get too much more than that. Yeah. I mean, you could try to go for the burst play. I'm sure some players would have you know, gone for the, the, the double taps, but he wanted to guarantee at least a couple of players die, so I respect it. I, I think it, what's frustrating for Simple is that he was one of the last people there. So yeah. I think he's expecting his teammates to have cleared that position already. It's weird how that That's why get he's played. so frustrated. He's like, I can't believe you guys have done this. There are three of you in front of me. No one's checked this. It's I've been killed for free. It's and now we're on eco to make it worse. It's one of those things where, um, for those of you who listen to my podcast with Liege, he talks a lot about protocols. And one of the things is that you have to instill protocols, especially whenever you get caught off by positions like that. And so the protocol there would be, if we don't take outside in the early early round, and there's a time for the CTs to be there, first, first player in has to check it. If you're playing a slow round, first player has to check spots like that because the CTs have time to move there. It's sloppy, Dan. It is, it is very sloppy indeed. Ooh, Almeida's well, lucky to get away with that one, and now he has everything. XP Power delivering elsewhere at the same time. Four's move to seven. A disappointing half for Na'Vi so far. It started so well with a pistol, and it has descended into, well, not much of anything. Just two rounds from nine. Disappointing and frustrating, especially with that 2K from Jerry. No, I, th I think you, you, know, you make a really good point about Simple's frustration as well, because it really hurts when something like that happens in a round in which you kind of need to have this one turn it all around. It's where you get to really say, OK, we failed with a few of these different approaches. Now we're going to try this. And you don't even get to run the round, and then boom, you got an eco again. That's yeah. just, that just absolutely sucks. We're emotional animals, and it's when you're competitive and you have a bar that you set, how can you contain yourself when such a thing happens? Well. Sometimes it does, and you've got to let it go. They're back on the buy, Na'Vi. They've had a tactical timeout. We've got three AKs and two Kriegs for the likes of Na'Vi. Plenty of grenades, plenty of smokes. We'll have to pay attention to see if any wall of smoke outside gets disturbed by a Molotov if gaps are held. Exit power has been dangerous. He's 13 for two. He's died twice. Yeah, Force definitely having a good time so far this tournament. Seen some strength from them. Confidence here. Got to play in front of the home crowd to Flitz going aggressive here through to what used to be radio. Now as I guess vending machines. Simple and electronic have the worst stats on their team right now. They are both two for nine in round ten. But this it might get worse because will they expect Flit to be in a position like this? Boomich oh no, Boomich he's gonna be showing a gun, surely. Oh Flitz, he's, he's just gonna back away. Gotta respect that. Yeah, that's going to slow things down. And indeed, there is that Molotov again on the outside. That, those smokes are all over the place. Looking like Donald Trump's wig piece at the moment. One minute on the clock. Na'Vi 
hairs on their back will be standing after that frag in the lobby. What do they choose to do? Boomich with the smoke. Face crack will be dealt with, and maybe there's a chance on the A bomb site. Yeah, Boomich has pretty forward position. Amaze will be coming out. I don't think he expects the player to be in red, so that might be Electronic with a very successful lurk. He might be able to get two here, actually, as they are two milling around. Execution. Oh my god, what was that? Great shot from Exit Power. Good reaction. It might be a chance after that one. And they will make their way from the upper position. A smoke down on main is really difficult to deal with. There goes the play, a trade. Exit Power with the AWP. There's the whip, and that will be it. Na'Vi pick up a much needed round. Three to seven. Still a recovery is possible. A lot of people here in Moscow. And they want to see this man succeed in his last day of professional Counter-Strike. And maybe there's still a chance at an important round on the board. Only the third round for Na'Vi. There is attack pause from Fours trying to disturb the success of Na'Vi perhaps. But he may have some money issues going into this round. So we'll wait and see. Not too long to wait. Lots of discussion from Zeus as well. Again, he's built, just like Fallen in Brazil, has built a giant community and opportunity for the uh, players of that country. Zeus has done the same in his region. There's a lot he does outside of the game, which a lot of people I don't think are aware of. But maybe you'll find out more about that after today. Here we go. Let's see what Fords have to bring into this. The, the buy is pretty reasonable, but as you can see, there isn't a whole lot left in the hole. No, it is, there is not. No AWP as well for an RV. More conservative approach outside from Fours. He's a long range with the M4. Not ideal. I can see a case. Go for the trade there. And you can see he's struggling to get that one. But flip from the side of the smoke for the trade. Deep HE is exit power, covers secret. If this goes well, then there's problems for Na'Vi. Gets the tag on to Flamey. They're going to have to go back towards the outside. There's not really many avenues for Na'Vi to attack now. They have to go either towards main or towards hell. Those are the only real options that they have. Those jumps off of main were pretty wild. I haven't seen those before. Extremely deep smoke grenades basically landed where they're standing at the moment. So how do fours defend? With only three players, we could see a rotation in the lower area. I think it's sexy power moving around down there. So this is going to feel brittle for fours. Okay, XC power's on the ramp now. Creeping Na'Vi. Bear in mind that these Kriegs and Orgs, when you scope and unscope, those are audible. Those are audibles, I guess, is the uh, way to say it. They can be heard by your opponent. Face crack with an angle where he won't necessarily need to fight to the death. If he's lucky, he gets a cheap kill. Flamey just lurking on the outside with 13 HP. But time is running low. Na'Vi needs to plant the bomb. They absolutely do, and they might just... Well, they have just done it. I don't know that there's a way for Force to really challenge this. Their money sucks, and they have an AWP, so better hold on to that one as they fall back towards T-Spawn. Perhaps most defensible save position in all in the entire game is T-Spawn on Nuke. Get these two really... Well, you get a really sheer angles. Although, if they rush you with numbers, it can be difficult. But you have such a long channel where they will be exposed to chase you down. So this was some elevation, but you can see there's... Not really much he can do to reach them if unless he charges forward. He looks like he might be going for it. Their money's not great though, Na'Vi. They don't have... Yeah, I was going to say, they don't really have the best situation on the economy. If they lose this next round, James, they will be struggling for cash. Do you think we can get in the car on the stage? Uh, you can do anything. Oh, that's so kind of you. Three round lead for fours. The gap is becoming a little smaller. Now, what will they have to fight with in round number 12? It might not be a whole lot. Exit power and flip with the rifles. We'll see if they take some aggressions, if maybe the AWP goes towards that squeaky door or something along those lines. Exit power will be the only person on the outside in the garage, the normal position. Not looking for the jump peak, but just looking for people to cross. I'm sure there'll be deep flashbangs to his position. Oh, all there, flaming swinging wide. Very confident from him. Exit power was so good earlier, but he's missed two shots now. And he may not get too many more, or will he? Boomich to be the first one to fall in this round. Head spotted at silo, but now they've moved to main. And it's a vulnerable position, and Exit power will indeed fall. 
Amazer looking curious. Perhaps he wants to try to recover the AWP. It might actually be possible given where it dropped. And in fact, he's picked it up. We know Amazer to be pretty versatile. So there's danger for Na'Vi. Oh my goodness. Almost takes down Simple. That would have been a big kill. Goes back again and finishes the job. Okay, so now there's some problems here for Na'Vi. They're down to three players. They do have the lower bomb site, though, and I don't believe we have CTs in any dangerous positions, considering that they've only got pistols down on the lower bomb site. You can see just Face Crack and Jerry there with their pistols. But maybe there's some work to be. Oh dear. Okay, so now Jerry has to go out and die. There we go. And they don't expect a second player. Face Crack tries to get the gun. He's stuck. There's the five seven at least, and Almeida does damage. How have they done that, James? That's a bit cheeky, isn't it? Yeah, that is quite a turnaround. Jerry's fall looked terrifying. It's like the worst kind of bait when you just expose your teammate's position, but the bait worked out. Zeus had no idea where he was getting shot from. One player plays off the other one. Almeida's repick there was super important. He repicks there because he can't repick there. He was tagged with the AWP. He lost his angle. To repick there is a suicide, which is why he didn't expect it, which is why he did it and got a frag. Eight to four, four fours. Both teams on the buy. Simple is not naked. AWP, and here is finally that fast round through Squeaky, but with limited success. He had to land that one simple, but he missed. Oh my God, what was that? Well, that's exit power, and Jerry gets in there as well, wants a piece of the pie. Only able to take one slice, though, before he's dealt with. And. It's not really all that much for Na'Vi to do at this point. Fours are looking a little bit troublesome for Na'Vi. Looking indomitable. And now Exit Power lines up the next shots and Electronic feeds straight into his reticle. Exit Power really trying to be tricky here. Flamey has an AWP though, so you must be careful. Especially if you go down one versus two, it suddenly becomes very doable for Flamey. He's got a minute to go as well. Does he look towards control to see if the glasses are broken? They're not broken. And now he raises some questions. Look at the rotation. Exi Power may be taking it for granted. Oh, that's a gorgeous shot from Flamey. Looking for rotation. He could go either way. He's still got time. 40 seconds on the clock. Trying to create some space. Trying to force fours from some of their positions. But he doesn't really know where they are. He hasn't really had a response just yet. Does he commit to the bomb plant? No, he's waiting for the doors to open. The doors are open. There's a flick, there's a tag, but still alive is Almeza. Oh, this is a shot. And maybe he would have been traded anyway. Nine rounds now for fours. Good effort from Flamey, but they were asking too much of him. Yeah, they really were. Fours have been quite a revelation this tournament so far. The strength they've been offering. And I think one of the things that to some people is might be surprising if you haven't seen fours so much is just their individual level. They're individually, they're very good, and, and it's not just that, it's how they use that skill. They are ha quite happy to be aggressive and take pretty ridiculous fights at times, and they often come out on the better end of things, so... Fours looking good so far. Jerry back in this position that was unchecked before. Have Na'Vi learned from their mistakes? We'll have to see. I think it will really show a lot about their mental state if someone checks it, but Electronic does. Jerry tries to get out there, bobbing, weaving around the smoke. They can't find him until ooh, eventually Flamey catches him. That was looking worrisome. Face crack spots. He's going back into the smoke and he's trying to punish more tracers. Three players remain for Na'Vi, only one of which has a rifle. Second last round, things go from bad to worse. Simple taken out. Flamey's the one with the rifle. And he needs to get some work in. Boomich looking for a rotation, an ill-timed rotation. But there's some expectation. The HE, maybe the ladder saves him, rattling the HE back and forth. If it drops more, it would have been colossal damage. But Boomich is still alive for now. There's the Molly, but how much will it really assist? So hard to break into position with so few players. Gonna have to give it a go though with the smoke grenade. Exit power's waiting. Oh my god, he's got a gab. Oh, couldn't it be any worse, could it? Fours go 10 to Na'Vi's four, and it is not looking good here for Na'Vi whatsoever. It's a struggle, isn't it? It's a really big struggle. Nuke often is, but maybe five rounds would be enough, but will they get to five rounds? Let's see how their buy will look. They've got good money on most of their players. The AKs are coming out. There'll be no AWP in this round for the T side. Not to be said, though, for Exi Power. Currently 24-5. He has been very impactful in this half, and he looks to do a little more before we're done. 
moving towards the outside with Jerry, who gets the early Molotov in, but it might be an early push into the A bomb site. Jerry in that main position, but look how many T's are outside. Almeida lines him up, then they walk straight into it. The flashbang doing the Lord's work, and Almeida is a prophet. It's beautiful work from him. And there it is. It's going to be 11.
Okay. Oh, here we go. We got Sandberg. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. All right. Is anyone else? Oh, wait, wait. All right then. Navi with six rounds, four to fourteen. We had a power issue with the audio, but now the power is back. The electricity is flowing. All right then. AWP on both sides. XP Power is on the T side now. Simple has the luxury of the angles, but he does not have the luxury of an eight round lead. Face crack going past the smoke graves, going past T Red. Electronic moving into a very forward position. He's got some sound cues at the very least. I'm not sure we have the game sound just yet, but we can hit a crowd, and that is going to be good enough for me. Navi being very active on the CT side. A minute 30, Electronic starting to flank. Which way does he go? Does he go towards Secret? Does he go towards the lobby? It will be the latter, but can he get there in time? Yes, time is of the essence on this flank. It looks like he might be making time, making good time, because Jerry he might be offering up his behind. <gasps> Okay, that was the close one. Almost poison and missed that, but there looks to be like there should be a trade here. Brexit Power is struggling, and now Flamey takes the opportunity to, to attack from the hot position, but maybe that will create an opening actually for fours. Exit Power and Flit are very weak though, and they have a lot of time to work with. And Face Crack is down lower, so now this round gets a quite complicated. Yeah, because how do they get there? Do they try and get there? Do they. This is so weird with Electronics still outside. This is basically an anti eco position that he's holding. Exit power's been taken out in the meantime and there goes flit and uh, there's a this frags all over the place two versus two 35 seconds on the clock the bomb is in the hands of force but want to have a chance to plant boom it's creeping down taken out now is electronic brave enough to follow he is face track lost the angle but i think they heard electronic jump down into the vent position the bomb's being planted on the side electronic by decon can't get the 1v1 on our maze up. that was the chance but it will be match point Four fours. Fours looking to dispatch everybody in dominating fashion, it looks like. There's a, a good chance here for this defense from Na'Vi. Simple did what he could, but too much damage was done. Face cracks position down lower. I'm not sure if they actually knew about that. Either way, as you say, match point for fours. Na'Vi have a lot to say with the rest of the play that might be left in this one. Simple going aggressive towards that door once again. Three players here outside for Na'Vi, more or less, to try to defend things. Flamey going close to the Famas. He has to. He must deliver something from this. A kill, at least one or two, at least. I don't think he has any support out here either. No flashbangs. And he's looking up towards the silo. And oh, here it might be three. No, just two. But that, again, might be good enough for Simple. There he goes for the flick. He misses a shot. Flick gets a second one. Electronic falls. And now life is looking pretty bad. Here for Na'Vi on the defense all of a sudden. They got two shotguns of the three players. They're trying to work with two shotguns. The Simple's down the vent with the AWP. What on earth do they do? Well, maybe he can run distraction. His teammates rotating while they try to deal with the Simple problem. Boomich on the other side of the smoke, but now he's losing some range by that vent area. But this is still, while the T's are waiting, this is still buying time for more rotation, but it's high ground as well. How many kills is Boomich good for? There's the bomb taken out. Tries to jump through the smoke. Simple's on a B bomb site, but the bomb is on A. And again, they've got that heaven position, so he's got to rotate. And AWP on B is used with an auto shotgun to try and stay in this game. They need nine rounds in a row, Na'Vi. Zeus waiting for the smoke to go, but what can they really expect him to do? Simple's on the way. Yeah, that he is. Simple and Zeus, can they do it? Flitz already with a trio of kills in this round. Exit power looking for good timing. There goes the peak. Zeus with the headshot now down to Flit. He's on three kills already, looking to complete the ace here against these two remainders of Na'Vi. There's kill number four. Challenge is simple, but he can't make it work. Simple gets the kit. Does he have the time though? Looks like he'll be good enough as he will pull off the defuse, punching in those numbers, and Na'Vi pick up seven. But as you said, James, it is a long road to recovery here. Seven rounds for Na'Vi. It's not impossible. It is not impossible. They've put Forza in a difficult position as far as money is concerned, but a half fight can be had. Simple, going for the quick scope. Maybe he wouldn't have persuaded the peak had he not waited to scope in after seeing the enemy if he just scoped in earlier i'm sure they would have been a non-believer but anyway we've got a mac 10 out for face pack there was money to be spent by forza but again it's not an ideal situation for them so maybe there's a chance at another round for navi Face crack makes his way to the squeaky position and Boomich gonna get taken out from the back. The numbers are swarming on the A site. Two for two, Simple's in a tight position. Now he's dead. Jerry picks up an M4. There's another player in heaven, but it's going from bad to worse. Electronic now in a one versus one. Jerry with the wide swing, 16 to seven.
and surely the chances for Na'Vi to make it to the finals have now been ruined. As I heard from the desk, I believe they needed both uh, victories here in these last two matches, but Forza have 